Marcelo, what's your biggest miss and how did it change your mindset as an investor? Probably no bank. We didn't get there earlier on and we were stubborn. Uh, we were stubborn in evaluation and the founder was more stubborn and the founder <laughs> won. Uh, and I think now, you know, at the end, you know, I'm a huge personal investor into New Bank. I got SoftBank to be an investor into New Bank, but we were so new. I think it was our first week and we just said, no, this is it. And we were wrong. So I always, I always tell people it's hard to say you're a great Latin American investor having missed New Bank at the beginning. And I say it publicly. And we bet on another horse and that horse didn't perform as well, you know, as New Bank did. So I say, I mean, I've made a lot, lot of bad investment decisions in my life, but that one bothers me because it's within my region, it's within my knowledge. And if there's one thing that I learned is st don't be stubborn. And I was very stubborn. I love that. The first week, you're always going to be disciplined. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Missing, missing the good ones is as bad as investing in the bad ones, mm. maybe worse. Um, I was going to say Nubank, but now I can't. Probably open AI. Hmm. So when we were at SoftBank in 2017, I think thereabouts, Masa correctly was all over AI. And um, the team was small enough that we were all focused on the topic and looking around at what was interesting and being built in the world of AI. And we came across open AI, we knew open AI, we had discussions about open AI, and we just didn't do it. I think that was a huge mess. That would have been incredible. Um, and I think part of the fear was they're trying to build so much. And sometimes you have to build everything. Um, there are industries or markets that are thin protocol markets, meaning there's just not a lot of infrastructure. And so the company has to do a lot of the work that's just not existing in the ecosystem. That's true in LATAM, by the way. A lot of industries in LATAM are thin protocol industries. There's just nothing. And so a company has to do a lot. And often that turns investors off because you say this is very operationally intensive or capital intensive or what have you. But you need that to create the business, and it's a business that's more likely to endure. So those are ones that we miss. I'll tell you one that we did. That was a terrible miss, and that was FTX. And I did that myself at SoftBank, and it was one thing that probably taught me the best lesson ever. Oh fuck it! I've got to ask this. How was the meeting with Sam? Do not. I uh, don't even want to tell you, but do not ever invest in things that you don't truly understand just because of FOMO. And I remember it was one day before. And Sam shared with me the list of all the investors. And I was very lucky, right? I had I had a tremendous amount of decision range within SoftBank. You know, I'm, I can honestly say that my entire investment life, Massa never said no to any investment that I ever decided to do. And I went to Massa and said, Massa, I just cannot understand what am I missing? Why is everybody investing? Are we going to be the only idiots who are not going to invest in this? And then Massa looked at me and said, it's your decision. So I invested $150 million on FTX, which, I mean, apologies to SoftBank because I should have never made that investment, but it's probably one decision that has changed my life forever. I'm never gonna invest in something that I don't truly understand, and I'm never gonna invest based on what everybody else is investing. And that's gonna be a great learning decision. That's gonna be a great learning lesson for me of to never break those rules, right? And, and I broke the golden rule because I didn't want to be the only guy left considering I was in charge of also doing crypto within or, or blockchain within the SoftBank ecosystem. Big miss and a big lesson.